Have you ever been bullied? I was bullied a lot when I was in school. They would not want to play with me. They would call me the R word. But I'll be your friend. You will be my friend? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name's Anna. I'm Janelle. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hi, Micah. Hi. I love your outfit. You are dressed really snazzy today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, what are we here to talk about? We are here to talk about Tourette syndrome. What is that? Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder that causes people to have tics and body movements that they can't control. Like, see what I just did right there? That's part of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <clears throat> like, you see what I'm doing right now? Yeah. Yeah, does it make you nervous? No. Oh, okay, good. So that means that I have something in my brain that makes me have tics that I can't control. So I can't do anything about it. It just happens all the time, all day long. Usually when that happens to me, I take deep breaths. You do? Let me try. <sighs> nope, they're still there. I have, um, like sometimes a neck jerk. Um, just like lots and lots of different tics I have. Like you're doing it right Yeah, now. like I'm doing it right now. But I don't blurt out any words. <gasps> Yeah, did you see somebody with that kind? Um, yeah. Yeah, and it's really rare that people do that. Yeah, that, that would be pretty sad if you couldn't control it. Mm -hmm. If you just yelled something out, people could hear what you're talking about. Or what you're thinking, because yeah. it just comes out of your mouth sometimes. That's terrible. And when you like walk across like a road, <clears throat> do people look at you? People stare at me all the time, every day. They always are kind of wondering, what's wrong with her? <laughs> Why is she moving? Why is she moving like that? Exactly. What about when you're driving? I have tics when I'm driving, but fortunately, I just um, have really good reflexes. But I do have tics when I'm driving. It's funny when my friends are in the car because they, they laugh because I, I, I can be a little jerky in the car, but it's... People who are not in my car don't know. <laughs> what do you think about the ticks? What do I think about the ticks? Yeah. <sighs> I think they get on my nerves. It's painful and it's constant. It feels like when you're gonna sneeze and then you have to hold your sneeze in. It kind of is like that. It's like you, you have these movements that you can't stop. Usually it comes out of my mouth. Yours comes out of your mouth. And sometimes I hold it. Well, sometimes but. my ticks come out of my mouth too, but not the way that most people think. But like if I'm drinking water and I have a tick, sometimes I'll just spit the water out. How did you get it? I was born with it, mm -hmm. but it didn't show up until I was five. And my mom thought I just had habits and I was just like, doing things to get attention and so I would get in trouble a lot because she would say, stop doing that. Do you ever do stuff where your mom's like, Desmond, stop doing that. Now imagine hearing that all the time. So that's what my mom would say because she didn't know any better. Nobody knew. Did you ever like <clears throat> get super mad and sent you to the principal? Yes, they would kick me out of class. They would kick me out of school. Like kick? <clears throat> Not with physically kick, but like make me leave. Because the teacher mistreated me like that, it gave the kids permission to do it. And so the kids kind of followed suit and they were like kind of mean to me and didn't want to play with me. So it's kind of hard. But I'll be your friend. You will be my friend? Mm -hmm. I like I that. <laughs> Because I get the ticks a lot. Yeah. Trust me, with my brother. You mean like ticked off? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's ticked off, which is when you're mad. Mm-hmm. This kind of a tick is more like in my muscles from coming from my brain. It hurts when they happen, but it's hard when I try to hold them back. 
And sometimes, like today, I am holding them back a little bit. So when I go home later, they're gonna be really, really bad. They're gonna be even worse because I'm trying to force them not to show up, which is really hard on my body. Like, I'm getting hot. Even my eyes have ticks. But because I have Tourette's, my brain makes up for them by giving me like a photographic memory. So that's good <laughs> that you have that. Yeah. That's a good, always think on the bright side of having a um, right. Tourette's symptom. You can remember anything. I can remember so much stuff. Is there any medicines or treatments that you have to take? <laughs> well, there are medicines and they don't work for everybody. And I'm unfortunately one of the people that have tried a lot of medications and have had a lot of really bad side effects from them that actually feel worse than the Tourette's. Um, like one medicine made me gain a whole bunch of weight. Um, another medicine made me forget my memory. Like I couldn't remember how to get home and I couldn't remember how to read. So you're still not doing it right now? <clears throat> no, I'm not taking any medicine right now. But maybe they'll come up with one yeah. that works good. I mean, there's always hope. Will the ticks ever stop? I don't think so. <clears throat> Are you okay with that? I don't have a choice but to be okay with it because if I can't change it, I have to live with it. Yeah. I feel very sorry for you. Oh, well you don't have to feel sorry for me. I think what you know what's good is feeling empathy. Empathy? <clears throat> that means having an understanding. That's a good word. We should all have empathy for one another. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too, sweetheart. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you for sharing your story. You're about very welcome. Thank you so much, Paul. Oh.